The project is about the transition after high school. We know from previous research that students from less privileged backgrounds are less likely to enroll compared to their peers from more privileged backgrounds. So there is social inequality in the transition to university. And in this project we have been interested um, how can we reduce these social inequalities. So now what are the results as far as we are at the moment? So we're um, one and a half year after students have finished school and the question is did the counseling program actually decrease social inequalities and the answer is yes it does. So what we observe is that in the control group that didn't participate in the program we do have the pattern that we often observe in um, education research we have students from more privileged background being more likely to enroll than their peers in from less privileged families compared to the group that participated in the program. Here we see that social inequalities have considerably in decreased. So now the students from less privileged background are more likely than in the control group actually to enroll. And we also see that students from the better off backgrounds more often we would say think twice before enrollment. We can observe that in particular for students with good marks from less privileged background, that they are encouraged to enroll and they actually do enroll, whereas students that have a performance below average from the better of backgrounds do not enroll immediately. So, and in this sense, the counseling program actually did contribute not only to a reduction to social inequality, but also to a, a better kind of fit of school performance and educational decisions after having left school. First of all, it's a program that is examined by us as researchers that is a real program. So there is a counseling initiative that is administered by universities and um, is conducted in schools to support students from less privileged backgrounds shortly before they have the decision whether or not to enroll. So it's a real program. Second, what we could do in this project is we could do a randomized controlled trial. That means we do have a kind of setting that resembles a experiment with a group that is receiving the treatment, that's how we call it, so they are part of the counseling initiative, the counseling program, and there is a group that is not part of it, the control group, that allows us to compare the um, decisions and the outcomes of the control group and of those who actually participated in the program. And finally, what's also unique in this project, that it is a very long-term project. So we observe these students from high school on for now uh, four years and will do so for another two years, so for six years, and asking them annually, what are they doing at that point in time to see if this intensive long-term counseling actually helps to decrease social inequalities.